Hello there guys and welcome to this Friday tutorial. Woohoo, it's Friday. It's currently 9.44 p.m. on Thursday, so I'm going to try to finish this up pretty quick. Um, but today I'm going to show you guys how to create the annoying orange effect um, with the eyes and the mouth and how to blend that and uh, make it look like it's an orange or a grapefruit or whatever. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so now most people on YouTube are going to say that there's um, it's just all one clip, the uh, eyes and the mouth, that's all filmed on one clip. Um, but I was watching some guys, um, CTFXC, um, making a, um, a spoof, or not a spoof, but um, helping make a uh, annoying orange video. And I noticed that they filmed the uh, mouth and the uh, eyes on separate tracks. Now, I know most people on YouTube will film it on just like, you know, one whole shot of the face. Um, so this is wrong. <laughs> so first off, that's... Um, the one key feature that they're missing. Um, so pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to need two shots of your um, actor. First of the eyes. Um, I just deleted the audio because I didn't need any of the audio. So here I just have like my eyes all kind of like going around crazy. Then I here have a, I have a picture in my mouth. I'm um, just kind of like talking. Hey Apple. Hey. Hey Apple. I know it's so attractive. But um, also we're going to need an image of an orange. So I just got these off of uh, Google Images. Let's drag that into the timeline and put that on video layer one. Now we're gonna need to take those uh, two shots of the mouth and the um, uh, eyes and just bring that up one. So let's bring this under uh, underneath there, put that on top of that, and let's shorten down the clip of the orange. So bring up the audio just so it's nice and lined up, and there we are. Okay, so the first step we want to do is we want to um, come over here and um, uh, duplicate the eyes. And this is just to kind of get the eyes um, individually keyed out, or, you know, matted out. So we're going to come over here to the top layer, and go to Effects, Video Filters, Matte, and then we're going to come over here to um, Mask Shape. Now, we're going to come over here to um, the Filters tab, and under the Shape, let's change this to an Oval. Then we can um, bring down the um, circle, there it is, kind of see it <laughs> right there. I apologize to the uh, garage door opening in the background, so, yeah. So let's close this on down, so it's just pretty much like the shape of the eye. Let's bring this down a little more. Center's right, right there. Alright, so we're going to open this up just like a little bit. There's no magic numbers, it's just kind of trial and error more or less, so. That looks pretty good, so we're going to leave it as it is. And uh, let's come over here to this other video clip and let's um, do the same thing. Effects, video filters, matte, and um, mask image. So now we're going to make this one the um, left, uh, right eye. So let's <laughs> um, again switch this over to an oval. And let's bring this on down to the uh, proper size. Let's bring uh, the center around. Make sure it's nice and centered. Alright, so that looks pretty good. For a tutorial at least. So now we're going to do the mouth. And I'm just going to bring this out so we can see it a little bit better. So, there's the mouth. The same thing. Effects, video filters, matte, and image, or mask shape. And again, let's change it to an oval. And um, let's make this a little bit larger. Because the mouth is like a little bit wider. So we're going to need to uh, allow it some um, room to move around. Let's bring down the uh, horizontal scale, that as well. Bring this up, let's see how that looks. That looks okay. So we're going to use this, and let's also come um, still select on the, on the mouth. Let's come up here to effects, video filters, and um, matte, and then matte um, feather, mask feather. Here we go. Then let's just bring up the feather a bunch, just to make it blend nicely. So, if we were to put this on top of the uh, image of the orange, you can kind of see how it's going to turn out. So, let's bring this down to size a little bit. And put this right on top of the orange. Um, yeah. So, now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to come up here to Effects, Video Filters, Image Control, and then Tint. Now, this is where we're going to change it to uh, kind of orange glow. Uh, it's very important to have good lighting as well, because if, if you have poor lighting conditions, it's going to just look terrible. So here under the tint color, let's select this eyedropper tool, and just kind of select somewhere around the uh, orange. Um, so there's that. Let's uh, bring up the feather some more, 
just kind of make it all blend nicely. So that's okay. Um, let's say we need to bring down the, uh, the brightness. We can bring, we can just kind of like do some trial and error, see what looks good. Um, it's best to kind of ah, that was loud. It's best to kind of like um, select the color right um, where the mouth would go, just because that would you know, give it the best effect, obviously. So that looks decent. Um, let's also bring in the eyes, this left eye, and let's um, do the same thing. Effects, video filters, um, matte, and then let's do a uh, mask feather. Now let's bring up the feather all the way. And now we're going to need to change around some of these uh, parameters because it doesn't look like they're exactly perfect, but you know. Alright, that looks better. Just the yeah, eye was kind of off center. So again, effects, video filters image control and then tint now let's um, change the uh, tint color to something like where the eye, eye would go so about right there now let's bring down this so it's kind of the shape and let's um, bring in this final eye and again let's come on um, effects video filters uh, matte and then matte Feather, mask feather, there we go. Bring this up all the way. Um, and one more time, effects, video filters. Let's come over here to image control. There we go. <laughs> and tint. And then let's just bring this down and let's get a good um, orangish look. So that looks pretty good. Let's bring this down to size. And let's line that up nicely. Now, if you guys are using like a different um, fruit or a vegetable or something, um, you just gotta go over to, um, you know, pretty much the same thing, same process. There isn't any difference. Um, that eye looks a little bit bad, so how about let's select a uh, more decent color. We can also use this tool here, so if we wanted to. Let's select more of a, a brighter orange. There, that looks better. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'm sure if we kind of like spend some more time, we can get the fine details worked out. But saying it's 9.51 p.m. and I have school tomorrow, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go into too much far, uh, further detail. But on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, Final Cut Friday tutorial. Um, please subscribe if you like this video. I'm making these every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, and yeah, so I hope to see you guys on Monday with another Final Cut tutorial. And um, yeah, see you then. Bye.